Hi, so I haven't done a vlog in a long time and I wanted to do one. So that's why I'm here. And the topic I thought about this vlog is going to be um, it's going to be around it's going to be on the theme of a single human being's life's arc and I mean the first question to me when thinking about my life's arc is what are the essentials or what are the essential considerations to to highlight around this theme or topic and it's like asking the question what is real or what is important and as creators we are so powerful unto ourselves in governing this our own inner universe that whatever we treat as important turns important but obviously at the behest of this physical reality where unlike a thought unlike our minds we can't just delete physical reality or or even try and find a substitution for physical reality because the moment we try and find something to substitute um, physical reality we absolutely destroy and it's like it's like a little conversation I have around cellos like the string instrument cello um, in recent times it has been a trend to make cellos out of carbon fiber and a lot of research and development has been put into how to make carbon fiber cellos that sound good and from the opinion of myself it's like we already have such a wonderful material called wood to make a cello so it's like why why try and invent the wheel why try and reinvent the wheel when nature already gives us a solution as to how to make cellos and how to make good sounding ones and that reminds me of this whole hard sell of environment social and governance ESG it it's the statement it's the living statement of good intentions pave the road to hell because the very uh, conceptual framework for the justification of our self-destruction as a species of humans comes from the business framework the business frame of mind, the business slant, the business um, perception. And it demonstrates a total lack of understanding of the problem. The problem is humanity itself and the solution is also humanity itself. It, it's very much a psychological problem and um, uh, 
I don't know. Mm. ESG, ESG. ESG reminds me of how, let's say, the economic policy, no, the in environmental, sustainable policies uh, driven and, and held upright by uh, policymakers in the Hong Kong government, all of them have a background of being politicians and and lobbyists and they are not the actual people they do not represent the people that do the actual work and and this was said to me by a person that those uh, elderly people that pick up trash they are the most environmentally friendly and and influential forces that should be given a voice in terms of shaping environmental and sustainable policies. But that is not happening. And it just exposes the... Uh, it, it exposes like the pretend attitude the pretentious attitude of politicians and lobbyists and and it's like whatever they try to think of uh, makes matters worse so for example there was going to be a plastic bag a garbage bag uh, policy implemented here in Hong Kong about what was origin for the same size of garbage bag. Let's say garbage bag A. Originally, garbage bag A was going to cost us Hong Kong citizens, let's say 10 cents. And the problem with this garbage bag policy is that the government accepted the government acceptable garbage bags were going to cost something like three times the price. So what was originally 10 cents per bag became 30 cents per bag. And not only that, the government acceptable bag garbage bags were thinner. They were even less um, durable than the original garbage bags, and which which arose a very funny scenario where okay, if your garbage bags aren't going to hold the garbage like the original ones, then I will have to buy an original garbage bag and then put the government acceptable garbage bag around it. And how is that being more sustainable? How is that being more environmentally friendly? So that's an example of good intentions paving the road to hell. And a loose analogy of what I want to say about ESG, it's is not understanding the fundamental problem. The fun, according to everything that I listen and read, um, something about the fundamental problem has to do with our parenting. It has to do with what we teach children at home. And it has to do with how we teach each other through media, how we teach each other of spanning all ages, all age groups. It, it has something to do with how we educate ourselves.
and it's like while we have this big problem in front of us like ESG we also have our own personal problems about having destructive thoughts and um, the problem, uh, the big, big problem that we don't even understand how a thought is made, how a single thought is made. And we don't know how to prevent this thought infection infecting all of us. And what I, what I mean by thought is that really emotional or feeling drive and impulse and push within us that causes us to do irrational things and make irrational decisions and clouds our judgment and puts us in a separate reality, separate from the physical reality. Um, I mean, as of 2024, in my opinion, the mind is where the cutting edge is at. It's, it's the root of all our problems. We know how to brainwash, but we don't know how brainwashing is made, to put it politely. Um, yeah, so that's about all I wanted to share. Hope you had fun listening to this. I'll see you again. Bye.